Hey guys, hope you're all doing very well. We're going to do a quick video update on Bitcoin today, hoping to make these more frequently. Now, you might have noticed on Twitter that I am doing them more frequently, and I think I'm going to lean towards YouTube really to do these videos now rather than Twitter because uh, you can just upload that slightly longer video. Um, so, yeah, if you are interested in more of this, seeing this kind of content more frequently, please leave a like, leave a comment to show you know what your thoughts are about this so really would appreciate your feedback on it but um yeah just focusing on the price action now so uh as per the last video we're looking for this downward target 13 and a half k and the question is really how high up we can come before we drop down all right so i mentioned yesterday on twitter that there was a chance that we could push up to 24k because we had a relatively strong day yesterday um breaking above some key resistance. However, we've got to take into account the large, the high time frame resistance, which is really the median line of this pitchfork coming down. Okay, so if we zoom in, we can have a look at that a bit closer here on the four hourly. Okay, so what I mentioned yesterday was that if we can push above the median line, there was a chance that we could make it to the next pitchfork line, which is the 0 0.5 line. And I would be looking for confluence uh, with the this horizontal level around 24K, which is a very significant level, as previously discussed, it was our weekly uh, S4 on the Camarilla pivots. Uh, it was our previous downside target, and it would make a very nice linear zigzag move up to here to complete a dead cat bounce. However, I did mention, you know, we're in a strong bear market, and so there is a chance that this median line just pins us right down. And I think that's probably what we're seeing here. We saw a big rejection today, again, at the median line, which we can see better on the might be better going to the 15 minute time frame to look at this one. So here it is. So um, yeah, you can see median line just absolutely pinning us back down here. And we can actually put on a smaller pitchfork just to see how this price action is being held. So this is a modified shift. This pitchfork seems to be holding price action the best, uh, which again suggests that it's corrected price action. The fact that it's following more of a modified shift pitchfork um which generally holds corrective price action better uh and we have just dipped beneath the median line so that's a concerning sign uh that we are starting to maybe shift the trend here of course the trend hasn't completely broken until we break this lower warning line but the degree of rejection the, f the speed of it coming in at major resistance here tells me that very likely we are going to continue this downward trend um and we can also see a bit of a setup developing over on Ethereum. If we have a look at that on the, uh, let's go on the one hourly for this one. You can see a little bit of a head and shoulders forming here. So left shoulder, head, and then right shoulder here. And the, the shoulders are almost equal in terms of where they came up to. So Ethereum also setting up the head and shoulders pattern again. It would be a, a bearish setup here. So just coming back to Bitcoin. So, as I say, if we can push above the median line, there's a move to 24K. The way it's looking right now, it looks like we're going to struggle to get back above this median line. And as I say, it looks like we're on for our target down at 13.5K. So let's just bring a bit of a attention towards the 13.5K just to recap why that was such a significant target. So, of course, it's a very key horizontal level. If we look back, there was the range high all the way back here in 2019 uh, so it really stands out like a sore thumb so no doubt from a horizontal point of view this is a level that's going to offer some kind of um, support okay on top of that you've got lower median line confluence with this big pitchfork that's really holding price action the best right now um, and then if you've been following my channel for a while you'll be familiar with this other pitchfork which is going all the way back here to 2018 so we've got our first second third pivots original pitchfork uh, on the log scale and you've got the lower warning line offering confluence with the lower median line of the smaller pitchfork and also with this horizontal level of 13 and a half k so loads and loads of confluence all coming in around this point okay uh, and on top of that, we also have some Fib confluence also. So let's just uh, let's hide that for now, and just to demonstrate the Fibonacci confluence here. So we've got like a three-wave move coming down. So first wave, second wave, third wave. So let's just take the first wave here and extend it from the start of the third wave, which is here. 
So as you can see, you got your kind of 1.618 region here, 1.618 uh, extension coming in and around this point also. And then if you go on the linear scale, you can also see that again, you've got the one-to-one -one relationship down here, okay? So loads and loads of confluence in and around this point. And of course, it is an important level. It's a significant degree of retracement because it is an 80% retracement from the all-time high coming down to this point okay and if we, i mentioned in the previous video is that's usually the mi bare minimum that bitcoin will retrace following a five wave parabolic move to the upside which we have we're pretty much in agreement that it has uh, done that now so this this 69k top certainly looked like a five wave completion especially considering the degree of this retracement but it's come down to what 70% retracement we, but as I say, classically, it will come down to at least a bare minimum of 80% and can very easily come down to 90%. So yes, it could come down further, all the way down to 7K, but for now, this looks like a target. We could form a bottom here, or we could just get a big dead cat bounce and then come down to 90%. Of course, the other option is we shoot through it. But the point is, 13.5k, we will have to see how price reacts because no one knows for sure what is going to happen. People will have their ideas and their probabilities will differ, but bottom line is nobody knows for sure. Okay, what is pretty apparent right now and is looking very, very probable is the move from the current price of around 19k down to 13k. That is a big move in itself. There's a much higher probability of that than any other move that I can see right now. Um, so it's a pretty exciting setup. It's a, it sets up a very big drop, okay? Um, so the other thing that is important to take into consideration is what is happening in the stock market. The stock market obviously is really important right now because we're talking about being on the verge of a recession, which obviously when you get the second uh, quarter um, GDP results, we'll be able to confirm whether it is a recession or not. People are saying we're already in recession, that you don't need to wait for these GDP results. Well, technically you do, um, but uh, yeah, that, all, that information is all going to come out very soon. Recession or not, the economy is clearly struggling, okay? And it's likely to struggle for a good while. Uh, and yeah, the stock markets are important to monitor because it tells you whether we're in a risk on or risk off sentiment, which will have an effect on all other markets, not just stocks. So if we just take a look at, uh, I've been following NASDAQ mainly for the US indices just to monitor stocks, just because I really like the way the chart is setting up from a TA point of view. Um, so this pitchfork post financial crisis has held the price action really, really nicely, only had a two little blips outside the lower warning line previously, but otherwise really holding the price action well. You can see we were so overbought when we came into this upper warning line here, right at the top of the extremity of the trend. And now we currently sit around here, which we'll see if we're going on the daily, we can see a bit better. So we're here testing this lower warning line. So the question is, are we going to get a big bounce off this lower warning line or are we just going to break it further? The way it's setting up, it looks like every move up is corrective, three wave-ish, setting up for a next move down to take out the previous uh, lower low. So if we come in on the four hourly, we can see that a bit better. So as you can see, we made this significant low here and the resultant move up is definitely looking three wave-ish, which tells us there's a high probability we take out this low. So which again, really means that we're going to be severely testing this lower warning line. Okay, uh, I've got a, a lot of focus also on this smaller pitchfork to the downside here, because this is holding the price action very well. You can see the downtrend is very much intact. And I mentioned again, my invalidation of the bear trend or and to, the, the idea of seeing a dead cat bounce really materialize into something more significant on Bitcoin would depend on NASDAQ getting above this upper warning line, okay, and Bitcoin, Bitcoin getting above 24K, both of which are nowhere near showing signs of uh, developing, okay. So you can see downward trend very much intact. This pitchfork acting wonderfully well of holding the price action. And I see, you know, it's coming down to at least this lower median line very, very soon. I think we're going to break this median line here very soon. Uh, even if we're going on the 15 minute, we can see um, pretty impulsive move down, three wavish corrective bounce. And again, strong rejection. This is correlated with the rejection and Bitcoin off of that median line that we've previously discussed. Um, so yeah, it looks like we're going to see most likely another down day, 
unless this turns out to be a more complex corrective move to the upside and then drops. But regardless, I can't see us suddenly um, going from here to take out this high. This is all looking very, very corrective and it's just a matter of time before it makes its next leg down. So that's just it looking at it from a, a stock market point of view to determine our risk on risk off sentiment within trading as a whole. Um, but yes, uh, bias remains bearish. Um, big question was whether we could get above this median line or not. The way things are looking today, can't really see it happening as as per what I've mentioned on the lower time frame pitchforks. So 13.5K looks like the, the most obvious target in my opinion right now. So uh, that's what I have so far. Um, so I think we'll probably wrap it up. And yeah, if you are keen to further your education, do check out, for example, my Elliott Wave videos, my Elliott Wave tutorial, which I'll put uh, a link to at the end of this video. And until next time, take care.